What is going on everybody and welcome back to another play review. So today we'll be reviewing 92 rated team of the season slash team of the season so far Ginter. Now this card looks incredible. Hopefully I am pronouncing his name correctly. Let me know down below if I am. But um, he's, he's been on form all season hence why he has got this team of the season card. And he honestly looks incredible. So I picked him up for 80k and I mean I feel like that is a very very good deal for the card. And of course we're at the point of a game where so much cards are very very cheap. And um, I mean yeah team of the season is definitely the best promo I've packed maybe 10 or so and it's one of the promos that you actually have a high chance of packing a team of the season within rewards or packs or what or something um, but with your guaranteed German pack if you're watching this maybe a week later from when I'm recording this and the guaranteed German league pack is out and you did get this guy I mean, I bet you're probably mixed on him right now, and you're watching this video to find out if he's any good. So we will do that today, hop into a couple division rival matches with him, and test him out to his ability. Now starting off with his overall player bio, his attribute details, and his traits. He has medium medium work rates, which I find isn't great. You want high defensive work rates for a defender. So in your custom tactics, make sure he is on stay back while attacking at all times, unless you're going ultra ultra attacking and you really want to get him up there. Um, but make sure that your custom tactics are all sorted so he does stay back. Now, two-star skill moves, I mean, that's whatever, it's a centre-back, three-star weak foot is fine. He is six foot three as well, so very, very tall. Now, attribute details, he is at 75 pace, which isn't brilliant. 83 sprint, sprint speed with 65 acceleration. He's got some nice passing stats, and his agility and balance is very, very, very low, um, but it is what it is. Centre-backs, agility and balance is a meta. And centre backs, it's it's not a massive issue. I've been rocking Desai for over 700 games, and he's got 65 agility and 59 balance. He's fine. Um, I've also got White, who is um, he, he's pretty agile for a centre back, and I, I do find the agile, the agility, and the balance good as a centre back, but it's nowhere near as important as your attackers. So Ginter, it's not a massive massive deal, but it's not amazing either. 98 reactions, 89 ball control, and 88 composure. And looking at those defensive stats, like 95 stand tackles, 94 defensive awareness, 90 interceptions, 96 hitting accuracy is insane. Slide tackle is leading him down a little bit there. And going to his physical, he's got good stamina for a center back, and 95 strength is phenomenal. So going to traits, he is a team player. I've no clue if that does an ultimate team. Um, but when it comes to Kim Styles, I have gone ahead and put a catalyst on him. So I put a catalyst on him. You could put a shadow if you want. Um, a shadow will get him plus 15 pace. So he'll go from 75 to 90 pace. A catalyst on the other hand, um, a catalyst will put him to 85 pace. So only a plus 10 pace boost there. Um, with a shadow what it does though is it just maxes out all of his defensive stats and of course an extra 5 pace compared to a catalyst. But I reckon it's not a massive issue. 5 pace is a big difference. Um, well, not a massive difference, but it's noticeable. And defensive-wise, it's like you don't really have to max those stats out. Um, it's not incredibly important. He's already very good there. Um, so maxing his passing out or making his passing as good as it can be, where the catalyst is also solid. An anchor, maybe, if you don't mind, slower center backs. 80 paces a center back with an anchor. Um, but that plus 10 is fine from a catalyst. Um, of course, his passing is getting a nice boost, like 99 short passing. He's got now got 99 crossing, 99 vision. Um, but he looks like an overall brilliant card, so let's hop in to the games. All right, we have finally found a match, and the team we'll be facing, this is a good team. He's got that link between flashback Miranda um, and that left back. Uh, he's got Hulk and Mbappe. Is that mid or prime Kaka? I think that's prime Kaka. I don't know, man. It's insane. Hendo, Laporte and Walker's lacking a little bit. But other than that, this team is a very good team. Let's hop into it. It's an interesting team. I'd say my team has a slight edge over his. But uh, yeah, let's get into the game. Right, Ginter's first uh, time with the ball. Good passing. He's running back into space, man. He actually feels, sprinting with him, he feels way faster um, than 85 pace with a catalyst. I'm impressed. I am impressed. I'm bringing Ginter out. Wow, we go 1-0 down. We go 1-0 down, man. Not good, not good. We're playing this back to Ginter. Uh, we've got time. We're just going to play that up to Guardiola. Ginter there. There we are. Nice header away. Ooh, 
What a goal. What a goal. Equalizing, making it 1-1. Reed Murray's, bro. He is incredible. Or team of the season, Murray's, I should say. Ginter, what an interception. There we are. That 90 interceptions. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Right, Ginter, what a save. Ginter putting pressure on my opponent, um, using his strength to his advantage. Lovely. I mean, we didn't give a tackle through. We didn't quite keep up, but we did put the shot off, definitely. It's pretty quiet right now. I've barely had to... It's more right now me going on the attack and this dude with passing play. He's had, he's had a few uh, chances um, and attacking plays, but Ginter, I haven't really had to test out too much as of yet. But as I'm speaking, we've got Ginter... Putting pressure on, I'm bringing her up, bringing Ginter up. Now I am dropping him back. But yes, we haven't had too much um, play. Ginter hasn't had much to do at the moment. Oh, Ginter could actually be really tested here. He's put pressure on. There we go. There we go. Near the end of the game, putting us two-one up. Ansu Fatty, man. Let's go. Right, we're staying defensive. Now this dude's going to be going all out. So Ginter, if he needs to get a tackle in or if we really do need to test his defense, now is the time. Ginter, Ginter gets in the way of the ball. That is what I love to see. Um, if you guys want to, you can go back and watch that in slow motion. Um, Ginter definitely getting himself in the way. I don't know if he got the tackle through or not though, but definitely getting himself in the way. We've got Ginter again. Ginter with an interception. Interception. This is, like, literally the most he's done in this whole match has come right now. There we go. Murray's with a run. It looks like this will be the end of the game, and we will be getting the win. We're just going to play this quite slow. Play it back to the Costa. Play that down to Conte. We've definitely won this. There's, like, no chance we're not. Socrates. Oh, it's, I'd almost just put the icing on the cake there. Um, but that looks like it is full time of the first match, is it? Yes, it is. All right, hopping into the second match. Um, but looking at the overview and the ratings that you have given Ginter for this, of course Ginter with the two crucial um, interceptions slash getting his body in the way at the end. 7.3, so he's his third loss in the team. Um, that's simply, simply just because we didn't have much to do with him. As you can see, tackles won, so they didn't count as tackle, tackles, sorry. Um, but dribbles completed, 7 out of 7, and 9 out of 9 passes completed. You can't ask for much more. Um, but the two tackles slash interceptions, I got at the end didn't count. Um, the first part when I was when my opponent was in the box, Ginta got his body in front of Mbappe, used his strength, and uh, then that went to Yashin. Um, the second part, he literally just intercepted it, which was brilliant. He wasn't tested out heaps, so uh, let's hop into the second match see if he's tested out more. Hopping into the second match, we will be coming up against Just Don't Be A God Squad. Okay, right, he's got Team of the Season Zaha, which is very good. Neymar, Mbappe, the usuals. Um, he's got the foot birthday da Costa, which has got some on mine. Of course, I'm just using normal da Costa um, to get Ginter to full chem. He's got Van Dyke flashback, Boateng. This will be an interesting game. It's a, it's a good team. It's a good team. Right, we're playing that back to Ginter. We're just going to cross the side of a pitch there. Lovely stuff. Ah, 1-0 down already. Once again, going 1-0 down like off of the bat. Yikes, man. I don't know why the dude's running the pitch though. And he's doing the cat. Okay, well at least we know he's toxic. That, that makes gives me motivation now. The Here we are. 1-1. One, one. We're not going to use the toxic celebrations yet. We're going to do that when we are ahead. But let's go. Timo Werner tying it up. Making it 1-1. One, one. He's putting pressure on, like I said. We'll bring Ginter out. Now we're bringing Ginter back. Look at that pace. He's catching up easily. Catching up easily. And we're down again. We're down again. Oh my goodness. And once again, he's doing the exact same thing. This kid's toxic, bro. He's dabbing as well. He's toxic, man. He's toxic. There we are. There we are. Once again, we're not doing the toxic celebrations yet. I'm waiting until I go up. If I can go up. There we are. 2-2. Two, two. Oh, what a tackle, Ginter. That was such an important and clutch tackle. He's gotten it through. 
Right, that is full time. Um, so we got a 2-1 win, was it, in the first match, and a 2-2 draw in the second. Um, I'm happy with a draw of his opponent was Toxic as I'm just happy I didn't lose, to be fair. Um, but I did wish I could have got that win and just given that dude some karma. Um, but anyways, overall, I, I'm impressed with him. Uh, Ginto with an 8 this time, and 3 out of 3 tackles won. Look at that, that is phenomenal. Overall, I'm going to have to say his pace caught up fine, as you guys saw in that clip earlier. His, his stand tackles, his interceptions, his passing is brilliant. Um, the only con I can think of is maybe how clunky he is as a Julian balance, but it's not very, very, very important as a centre-back. Overall, I'm going to have to give this card a 9.5 out of 10. I enjoyed using him, and I definitely think that he is underrated. So overall, guys, I reckon he is worth it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and until next time, I'll see you later. Peace out.